Diddy made a lot of people mad and upset. He may be losing some of his power. Do you feel like Puffy owe you? Yeah, he should. I think he should look out. It seems like Diddy finds himself in a rather precarious position these days because there's been talk in the streets that a whole bunch of his ex-artists is joining forces to bring his down and send him to jail for organizing the shooting of rap legend Tupac Shakur. Well, the case has been on the move since this July. And so far, only one person, Dwayne Davis, also known as Keefe D, has been arrested. However, it looks like the investigation is nowhere to be over. And with Davis's recent apprehension, the case has grown increasingly intricate, leaving both the public and the police bewildered. Now whispers are circling that several artists associated with the bad boy label may step forward to shed light on Diddy's alleged connection to this high profile case. These people are working behind the scenes. The motives behind this previously unseen unanimity leave many questions, and this willingness to potentially harm the music mogul make many people wonder, is there actually the end of Diddy's reign in hip hop community? Some suggest the desire to testify could be connected to the reported news of Suge Knight's refusal to be a part of this case. Apparently, Suge, the last living eyewitness of the fatal shooting, knows more than he wants to share, and his silence reportedly made other rappers come forward to put an end to Diddy's atrocious crimes. And whatever the circumstances, if he had an involvement with anything, if he didn't have any involvement with anything, I still, who want to see? I wouldn't wish somebody going to prison on my worst enemy. This was a recent phone call from Suge Prison Cell, in which the former CEO of Death Row Records, who is currently incarcerated, openly discussed his thoughts on Keefe D's arrest and his potential role in the upcoming trial. He emphasized that there were only two people in the car during the shooting, and since one of them is silenced forever, he's not going to be the person who rats the primary suspect out. As he commented on his decision to keep his lips tightly sealed, Pac's not going to tell the story. I ain't going to tell the story, but I can tell you this. I never had nothing bad to say about Orlando because he wasn't the shooter. It wasn't Anderson. So that's all I got to say about that part. Now it looks to many people that this case is going nowhere, considering that the main living eyewitness refuses to name the culprit behind this hideous shooting that took the life of a rap legend. However, as it's been now speculated, there are many other people who offered their service to the investigators. Because, you know, you, you see what he tried to do, though. You see what Diddy's been trying to do, though. He's been giving people their back. He's been doing all kind of friendly just because he don't want them up to go testify against him. Now, Diddy has been labeled as the prominent suspect since the start of this investigation. And here's where it gets extra spicy. Even the now demised rapper himself had previously hinted at Diddy's involvement in another shooting, which happened two years prior to his demise and also aimed to hurt Tupac. And now it seems Diddy crossed his paths with more than one person in his past. And he's got an extensive list of enemies who are ready to spill the tea on him. The first person reportedly willing to testify is WAC 100, a hip hop manager who's been openly claiming that the FBI will soon corner Diddy. He's been stirring the pot with some bold words, and it looks like he initiated the entire campaign against the music mogul. Y'all remember I told you this, Puff Daddy somewhere known itself right now. It looks like WAC 100 wants more artists to come forward, and it's been speculated that he's secretly working with the police and the FBI and reaching to all Diddy's rappers and ex-artists in hope to find out where their loyalties lies. It looks like for the first time in 27 years, we are going to see the light at the end of this tunnel. And although it's still far from the end of the story, fans are expressing their joy all over social media about karma finally coming to get Diddy. As one person commented, they should all speak up. They own the world, the troop. And another user added, I hope they take Diddy down. You know he's behind it, but he's got money. He slithered his way out of it this long. But since the only living eyewitness is not going to speak, it looks like the hip hop community is taking matters in its hands. And WAC 100 is among the first ones to tease Diddy with his upcoming testimony. All these is just getting down on this is cool. I'm telling you, that puff shaking like Don Knotts. Now, Wack shares the opinion that Suge Knight expressed during his jail call, and he also believes that the police has got the innocent man. However, after hearing Suge's statements about Keefe D's innocence, and he said, I'm not going to get on the stand and testify on somebody. For what? I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't testify. None of that stuff. It looks like this confession became a real eye-opener for many artists, and they are coming to bring Diddy down instead of Suge. And while you may think that Keefe D will spend the rest of his life behind the bars, the streets are getting ready for the final act of justice, as no one wants the innocent man to rot in jail for the crimes that Diddy had committed. So it's time for the music mogul to pay for his actions. Thought coming out about Diddy, all these people messing with him. And guys, it looks like it's not just WAC 100, but the whole crowd of people willing to help the police frame Diddy for this fatal shooting. Apparently, the music producer has been crossing the pass with many people, and they have something to say against their ex-boss and his shady past. 
let's talk about some long-standing feuds between Diddy and his artists, and you'll see why they all know about the music mogul's involvement in this case. It all starts with Diddy's recent generosity when he suddenly decided to give all his artists their publishing right back. The timing was just perfect, as the investigation of Tupac's shooting reached its peak a few weeks after Diddy's unusual act of kindness. As the bad boy had explained, he and his legal team was preparing this move for more than two years. I have to be responsible and accountable for that for myself. And so that was done two years ago, so it's not like... Apparently, it didn't fool anyone. And even though some of Diddy's artists like Mace were asking for their publishing rights for ages, this act pales in comparison that they can now openly talk about their experience with Diddy. Remember when Mace openly accused his ex-boss of exploiting and silencing his artists with his intricate contract? He said, and everybody else, you made sign paperwork so they can't talk about what I'm talking about. I'm the only one with the guts. I'm not signing because I don't need the money. All money ain't good money. All money ain't good money. Remember that. Now, Mace has a lot to say about Diddy. And there's a high chance that he'll be joining that campaign to bring his former boss down. Some say it's unfair treatment that makes all these rappers to riot against the bad boy owner, as he's not the nicest boss in the world. have to. Business is business. You don't have to change the contract. You don't have to make changes in the world. But even if Mays knows nothing about the shooting in Vegas, he definitely has enough dirt on his ex-boss. Previously, he had complained about how Diddy treated his artists, starved them, and was plain unfair. He even went that far that he publicly addressed the music mogul on his Instagram, saying that all the artists are done with his shady games. He even dropped some jaw droppers by suggesting Diddy might be behind some shady stuff like Kim Porter's and Tupac's passing away. Apparently, there's too much hurt and terror that Diddy had caused, and the streets are calling for justice. Mace isn't done there. He's pointing fingers at Diddy for all sorts of things and actively asking other rappers to out an end to Diddy's atrocities by testifying against him. As he said, when I see the hurt and the pains of other people on Bad Boy, that motivates me to say something so I don't be deemed as a person who just made a bunch of money and turned a blind eye. And Maze is not alone in his fight. Another prominent rapper Eminem is in on the action, too. He even dropped a diss track, calling out Diddy's alleged involvement in Tupac's case. It caused quite the ruckus in the hip-hop community. People started believing that Diddy's guy's hands dirty. Some even think Diddy needs to face an investigation and be brought to justice. And hopefully, with the help of his former artists, all the truth will be exposed and the culprit behind that hideous shooting in Vegas will be punished. As life goes on, you get hit with so many things. You know, just being really hurt and down and out and being lost. Apparently, there's a whole crowd waiting for Diddy to be incarcerated and their time for real actions has come. So while the trial in Tupac's case has been delayed, fans cannot wait to see what it will bring and who's going to appear on the stand to testify against Diddy. As one person commented, all artists should testify. I'd have mad respect for them if they all did. And another user added, throw Diddy in jail and make out an example for people like Jay-Z. He's also shady. Well, let's wait for the day of the trial to hear the first witnesses. And I swear, it's going to be an interesting spectacle for us all. And now, I want to ask your opinion on this, guys. Do you think that Diddy's artists are going to testify against him? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos. Well, that's all for now.